JT, the, the Kiwis are having their, their, their captains run behind closed doors. Are you expecting an ambush of some sort? Yeah, you always do when you come up against the Kiwis, especially in this clash. Um, you know, they come out firing, they've picked a lot of debutants, so that's going to bring a lot of enthusiasm for them, and uh, no doubt they'll try and ambush us. The side they've selected is definitely a surprise to most people, uh, no Jared Rear Hargrave. So, what, what do you read into that? Oh, obviously they're looking for towards the, the, the future um, with the with the team that they've picked. Um, you know, they, they're going to go there to do a job. Um, you know, for us, we just need to make sure that we prepare the best that we can and we train uh, really well, and, and that's what we've done so far, and we turn up on the night and do our job. Tim Sheen said yesterday he thinks you boys deserve a big crowd turnout and, and you know, predicting maybe not a big crowd. What would you like to see? Oh, no doubt. We'd love to see a big crowd there. Um, you know, I can't remember the last time I played in a green and gold jersey here in Sydney, so hopefully, uh, you know, a lot of people turn out to support us, and not only us, but also the Kiwis. I guess it's also an opportunity, given you won the World Cup overseas, you know, many Aussies would have been able to watch you, an opportunity to come out and even celebrate that victory. Yeah, uh, I would like to think so. So hopefully all the Sydney siders get out there and support us. You know, it's been a... a a big uh, year for, for Australian Rugby League with winning the World Cup and now the, 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 the test this uh, this week. So hopefully, you know, everyone gets out there and supports us. This debate every year about, you know, is it meaningless and that, how do players, how do you guys view that? Because we do have the same debate every year about this test and its timing and whether it's warranted and... Uh, yeah, look, every time I get the opportunity to pull on the green and gold, I'm, I'm going to grab it with both hands. Um, you know, that's for the power brokers of our game to come up with uh, better solutions there. But, you know, while this test is available and my form's good enough to be picked, then I'll be playing in it. And other sports like AFL don't get this opportunity. You guys are looking at a record 16 test wins in a row. I mean, that's almost been a little bit lost in all this too, hasn't it? Uh, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. <laughs> But uh, yeah, look, you know, it would be a great record to have. Um, I know everyone in the team and the, and the coaching staff have worked extremely hard over the years uh, since I've been involved in, in, in the squad. And, um, you know, if we get to win uh, tomorrow night, then hopefully we can celebrate that. The team sheets do look a little bit lopsided. Um, in terms of, do you think fans are looking for the wrong thing? If they're, they're looking for a tight contest, but should they also be looking for other things, you know, like the unveiling of a new superstar in that Kiwi side because of the next Benji Marshall, the next, you know, there's other things to look for in a match like this, isn't there, that could be exciting? Yeah, ex yeah definitely. Um, you know, the, like I said, the, they picked uh, a lot of deputants in, in that team, so, you know, it's a good opportunity for them to, to shine against the, the best. And, um, you know, like I said, if we don't go out there with the right attitude, then, you know, they'll ambush us and, you know, we'll be on the back foot, which has happened before in the past. I was having a chat with Greg Bird the other day and he said given his recent form with his goal kicking he's going to sack uh, Cameron Smith with the boot. <laughs> what do you make of that? Yeah, he's uh, been telling a lot of people that of late but um, I think Big Tim's uh, giving him the hook already. <laughs> <laughs> um, and JT, a lot of talk as well about different you know positions in the Australian side which is obviously very competitive with Daly Cherry Evans and GR going to pull back. And, you know, what, what are your thoughts as players on that? Are you happy with the current squad? Yeah, I'm... Um, happy to be in, in the current <laughs> squad that's for sure um, look there's always you know people breathing down your neck for your position uh, you know and that's why you don't take it for granted that's why you need to perform when you do pull on the green and gold or, or the other jerseys because if you don't you know there's someone there that can easily slot in and, and do your job and probably do it better what's your take on the Kiwis number six options Isaac uh, John to start with possibly talk with Harris as well yeah, well, um, you know, Isaac John's been uh, playing a bit of New South Wales Cup for in, in the Panthers grade there. But look, like I said, you know, once they pull on that 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 jersey, um, you know, they do the hucker there, and they seem to grow another leg. So uh, whoever they put in that in that position, they're certainly going to do do the job, and uh, we need to try and limit that.